And now, a fireside chat with the creators of Comedy Central South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Hi, I'm Trey Parker. And I'm Matt Stone. And this here's old Scratch. Say hi, old fella. We do a show called South Park. (laughs) Matt and Trey, tell us a little bit about yourselves. Well, I, I met Matthew at the University of Colorado, where I was going to film school. I actually met him in beginning filmmaking class. I met him and found someone who could make me laugh, even when I felt like crying. Guys, who would you say are your role models? Well, I think I'd have to say my biggest role model is Matt. And I guess I'd have to say mine is Theodore Roosevelt for his work with the Rough Riders in the Spanish-American War. Matt and Trey, tell us about this episode. This episode is called Cartman Gets an Anal Probe, and it's our favorite episode. In it, Cal's baby brother Ike gets abducted by aliens, and Cartman has strange things implanted in his ass. I think that the reason that this episode is, well, old Scratch's favorite anyway, is because it's the only episode that Matt and I animated completely by ourselves. You see, this was the pilot episode done before we had a series, so Matt and I had to do the whole thing by ourselves. For several months, we were locked into a cold, dark, little room for long periods of time. You know, that kick the baby game looks like fun. Have you guys ever played it personally? Well, neither Trey or I have children. That's right. The only family we have is each other. We're an old scratch here. We're not married yet. We can't even get dates. But the truth is, until we have children, we're not going to know whether or not we're going to kick them. You guys seem to write alien encounter material with a certain, uh, knowledge. Have either of you actually ever been abducted? Trey, it's okay. Go ahead and tell. I grew up very near to South Park, and so I was abducted when I was a small child. I remember the experience. I remember how horrible it was. I remember too much. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Cartman gets an anal probe. And now, a fireside chat with the creators of Comedy Central South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. I'm Trey Parker. And I'm Matt Stone. And this here's old Scratch. Say hi, old fella. This episode of South Park is called Weight Gain 4000, and it's by far our favorite episode. It's all about Kathy Lee Gifford coming to South Park and Eric Cartman trying to beef himself up for the big day. Exactly how much weight does Eric Cartman gain in this episode? Well, after Eric Cartman starts eating the Weight Gain 4000, he gains 700 pounds. That makes him almost as heavy as Sally Struthers. Has Kathy Lee Gifford ever offended you in some fashion? Was she flattered by her depiction here? Well, we don't really care, because Kathy Lee Gifford is a very wonderful woman. Both Trey and I really, really respect her work with Regis. Guns and bullets seem to be a recurring theme in South Park. Have either of you ever killed anyone? I would never kill somebody, unless they pissed me off. Guys, why do you keep killing off poor Kenny? What did he ever do to you? Well, Kenny is definitely our favorite character. And even though he is our favorite character, we feel we have to kill him in every episode. And this is one of our favorite deaths in this one. How does someone create a show like South Park and remain as pure and wholesome as you both appear to be? You know, everyone thinks that in order to do South Park, we must be wild, crazy rock and roll stars. But the truth is, we're just wholesome middle American guys. We enjoy soda pop baseball and beating up old people just as much as anybody. So now sit back, relax, and enjoy Weight Gain 4000. (laughs) I know a certain kitty kitty who's sleeping with mommy tonight. (laughs) That is a hoot and a holler. This next episode is by far our favorite. It's called Volcano. In it, the boys go camping with Stan's Uncle Jimbo and his friend Ned. While camping, they encounter a strange creature and a deadly volcano. I think the reason that this episode is, well, Scratch's favorite anyway, is because it deals with an issue that is really important to Matt and I. You see, we grew up in the Colorado Rockies, and there, black bear hunting is illegal. Well, a few years ago, a man shot a black bear and her two cubs out of a tree. When taken to jail, the man said, well, they were coming right for us. But he'd shot the black bears out of a tree, so it was ridiculous. (laughs) That's not funny. What America's really dying to know is, is there really a scuzzle butt? People have to understand, these are all works of fiction. 
There's no such thing as aliens. There's no such thing as Scuzzlebutt. And there's no such thing as Patrick Duffy. What happened to Ned to cause him to speak the way he does? Well, Ned is actually our favorite character in all of South Park. He had a laryngectomy from smoking too much and got throat cancer. So now he talks like this. I guess we can all take a lesson from Ned. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Volcano. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Beefcake. I'll tell you. <laughs> that is a hoot and a holler. Uh, this next episode is definitely both Trey and I's favorite episode. It's called Big Gay Al's Big Gay Boat Ride. In it, Stan finds out that his dog Sparky is a homosexual. How did your preoccupation with homosexuality develop? Well, we have noticed that America definitely has a preoccupation with gayness. But we felt there was a part of homosexuality that has been left unexplored, and that's animal homosexuality. I know people are curious about the two of you, too. Are you guys, uh, a couple, if you know what I mean? Y you mean, are we gay? You must have gotten a lot of mail on this episode. What kinds of stuff do you get in the mail from fans in general? We have great fans and great fan mail. People write such interesting, fascinating things to us every week. Let me give you an example. Dear Trey and Matt, I like your show. That's from Tom in New Jersey. Why does Kenny have to die so often and so horribly? Because, because he's, he's poor. poor. Guys, is there stuff you put into the show that's subliminal? Kind of like you know, a little reward for the fans who are really paying attention? Yes. We definitely feel we owe it to our hardcore fans to put hidden subliminal messages in every episode. That way they can watch the episode over and over and find something new every time. For instance, in this episode, if you look really hard, you can find a picture of me having sex with Matt's mom. What? So now sit back, relax, and enjoy Big Gay Al's Big Gay Boat Ride. And now, a fireside chat with the creators of Comedy Central South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. With the hi-dilly-ay and the hi dilly and the hi dilly ay dilly -dilly. Hello, I'm Trey Parker. And I'm Matt Stone. And this is Old Scratch. Say hi, old fella. This episode is called An Elephant Fucks a Pig, but the network's had it changed to An Elephant Makes Love to a Pig which is kind of silly because if an elephant was on top of a pig, it wouldn't be making love to it, it would be fucking it. Would you agree with the statement, this episode confirms that Matt Stone and Trey Parker are nothing but sick weirdos? You know, what is so sick and wrong about two beings sharing the most intimate of moments? That's what I want to know. You come at the gene splicing of DNA from personal experience? Well, yes. I actually made Trey from splicing a tomato and a flounder. Guys? Do you have strong ethical views on whether we should tamper with nature in real life? Well, both Matt and I think that genetic engineering is great and that everything should be spliced with everything. Why, that's the only way we're ever going to become perfect beings. Isn't that right, old scratch? I think we should splice pigs with elephants and tomatoes with apples. I myself would like to be spliced with Fiona Apple. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, sit back, relax, and enjoy an elephant fucks a pig. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, you should get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. <laughs> oh, that is a hoot and a holler. <sighs> anyway, this next episode is definitely Trey and I's most favorite episode. It's called Death. In it, Stan's grandpa wants to die, and all the parents in South Park are protesting a TV show. Matt and Trey, let's get right to the point. Should old people legally be allowed to die at the hand of a loved one? Matt and I are both firm believers in euthanasia. We think that once you get to be a certain age, things just get to be too boring and painful. And you should be able to, well, you know, by people you love. That's why I've asked my family to put a bullet in my head when I turn 30. So, who are this Terrence and Philip, and why do they sound so different? Terrence and Philip is a show that the boys in South Park like to watch. And the truth is, they're Canadian. That's why they're so silly. How many lives would you say that Kenny has left? Will they eventually run out, kind of like a video game? There's something that people have to understand about this whole Kenny mess. Trey and I created Kenny. So if we want to kill him, we can. That's our right. Leave us alone. So, are you guys as anti-Semitic as some might believe? 
You know, a lot of people have accused South Park of anti-Semitism, but I'm Jewish and proud of my heritage, and so I can say with some certainty that I am not anti-Semitic. I am, however. So now, sit back, relax, and enjoy Dad. Howdy ho, all you South Parkateers out there. Hi-ho! I'm rootin' tootin' Trey Parker. And I'm pistol slinging Matt Stone. And this here's old Scratch. Say hi, old fella. Hi, Scratch! Trey and I are right excited about now because this first episode of South Park is, well, our favorite episode. That's right, Matt. It's called Pink Eye. It originally aired as our Halloween special. It's all about an epidemic going through South Park and the boys having to save the day. Trey and I wanted to do an episode about disease and, well, we figured Pink Eye was the right one. That's right. You know, pink eye is a real disease, and anybody can get it. So kids, be careful who you bed with. To fight this horrible disease, all proceeds from this video will go to pink eye research. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're going to give away money. <laughs> oh, look. It's our Indian friend, Indian companion. Hello, Indian companion. Someone coming. Thanks. Anyway, all y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy Pink Eye. Hooray! Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. That was a hoot and a holler. Did you like that, South Parketeers? You yeah. That sure was a good episode, wasn't it? But this next episode is our favorite episode. It's called Damien, and it's about the ultimate fight between good and evil. But more than that, it's about being the new kid in school. That's right, South Parketeers. You know, being the new kid in school sure can be hard. Matt and I know from first-hand experience because, well, we used to beat the crap out of the new kids all the time. And because this episode has Jesus and Satan in it, well, we received a lot of complaints from religious organizations from around the country. They said we were being blasphemous and sacrilegious. To which we say, well, you're all a bunch of <laughs> Kids? Wow, you said a mouthful there. Oh, hey, gang, it's our friend, Indian Companion. Someone coming. We don't care. We don't care that someone's coming. Can't you say something else? He's always, someone coming, someone coming. We don't care. I, I hope someone comes. We like people. Kids, let's all tell Indian Companion to go away. Go away, Indian Companion! Well, now, why don't we all sit back and get a little rowdy and watch Damien? Yeehaw! And now, an introduction with the creators of Comedy Central South Park, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Howdy ho, all you South Parketeers out there. Hi I'm rootin' tootin' Trey Parker. And I'm pistol slinging Matt Stone. And this is old Scratch. Say hi, old fella. Hi, Scratch! You know, Matt and I are right excited about this next episode of South Park because it's our favorite episode. That's right, it's called Starvin' Marvin, and it originally aired on Thanksgiving. In it, the boys celebrate the holiday with a visitor from a far-off land. You know, when Comedy Central called us and asked us to do a Thanksgiving special, the first thing that went through my mind was, boy, I'd like to have sex with Jennifer Aniston. Cup of perky breasts in my hands and put my hand back on a nice little tight bond there. But you know, the thing about this episode is that it teaches racial tolerance, to treat everyone as an equal regardless of the color of their skin. Oh, look, it's our Indian friend, Indian Companion. Say hi, kids. Hi! What's happening, Indian Companion? Something coming. Grizzly bear. Oh, well, why don't you go over there and kick him in the balls? Grizzly bears like being kicked in the balls. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> He's so stupid. Well, why don't you all sit back and have a rootin' tootin' good time with Starvin' Marvin. Yeah! Howdy ho, all you South Parketeers out there. Howdy ho! I'm rootin' tootin' Trey Parker. And I'm pistol slinging Matt Stone. And this here's old Scratch. Say hi, old fella. Hi, Scratch! You know, Matt and I are right excited because this episode of South Park is our favorite episode. That's right. It was our Christmas special entitled Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. In it, the little Jewish kid Kyle is visited by a talking candy bar. That's right, South Parketeers. And the reason that this episode is our favorite is because it was the first one to introduce the school counselor, Mr. Mackey. He was based on an actual counselor I had in junior high school. Why, well, I used to run around the hallways getting in trouble, and he'd say, 
Trey, you need to calm down and get back to your schoolwork, okay? And now I'm making a million dollars off of him. Hooray! And like all of our episodes, this episode has an important moral lesson. The moral of this episode is, is that everyone, regardless of your religion, should celebrate Christmas because it's the best holiday. Yeah. Hooray! Oh, look, it's our Indian companion friend. Indian companion. Hello, Indian companion. Say hi, kids. Hi! Someone coming. Thank you. Anyway, why don't you all sit back, relax, and have a rootin' tootin' good time with Mr. Hanky, the Christmas chocolate bar. Hooray! <laughs> Boy, that was a hoot and a holler. Did you like that, South Park of Tears? You yeah! bet! Well, great. Then you're gonna love this next episode. It's our favorite. It's called Tom's Rhinoplasty. In it, Mr. Garrison gets a nose job, a substitute teacher comes to South Park, and our boys learn how to lick carpet. You know, South Parketeers, the reason that this episode is our favorite is because we got Natasha Henstrich to be the voice of the substitute teacher. Natasha Henstrich was that actress in the movie Species, and we loved her acting. In fact, Matt and I used to freeze frame a lot of her acting from that movie on the VCR and play with ourselves. Then we'd play a little game called I'm Natasha Henstrich, in which I'd close my eyes and pretend that Matt was Natasha Henstrich, then Matt would close his eyes and pretend that I was Natasha Henstrich. But kids, remember, if you want to play I'm Natasha Henstrich with your friends, play it safe. Oh, oh, look, it's our Indian friend, Indian companion. Say hi, kids. Say hi to Indian companion. Hi! What's happening, Indian companion? Someone coming? Someone coming. Someone coming. Someone coming. Great. Someone Thank coming. you. Thanks, bud. Thanks so much. Why don't you go build a teepee there, buddy? I think you'll be Natasha Henstrich tonight. Anyway, why don't we all sit back, relax, and have a rootin' tootin' good time with Tom's Rhinoplasty! Yeehaw! Ready? Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> well, did you like that episode, South Parketeers? You bet! Well, great. Then you're gonna love this next episode. It's our favorite episode. It's entitled Mecca Streisand. In it, we follow the real-life exploits of singer Barbara Streisand as she tries to take over the world. You know, South Park Tears, a lot of our fans ask us, do you really hate the celebrities you make fun of in South Park? And the answer is, of course not. It's all just in good fun. Except when it comes to Barbara Streisand. We hate her. <laughs> and in fact, we're pretending that Indian Companion is Barbara Streisand right now. That's why we're kicking her. <laughs> Shut up, Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Well, why don't you sit back, relax, and let's have a rootin' tootin' yippee tie yay oh grandma humpin' time with Mecca Streisand. Yeehaw! Ready? La la la, la la la. Cha 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 cha. La do 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 I like hugs and I like cake with the yum yum yum. It's loving that I bake. I'm your best friend through and through until the Grim Reaper comes for you. Oh, hi, I'm Trey Parker. And I'm Matt. Matt Stone, that is. <laughs> oh, you nut. You just caught Matt and I doing what we love to do most, entertaining senior citizens at a retirement home. Say hi to the South Park fans, gang. Say hi to the South Park fans, I said. Guy. This next episode of South Park is called Cartman's Mom is a Dirty Slut, and it's our favorite episode. That's right, Matt. It's what we call a cliffhanger. Excuse cl me. Excuse me. My chest hurts. I need my medication. Oh, you mean this? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, 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 do the dog dance. Yeah. I don't want to do the dog dance. Dog dance. I want my medication. Dog dance. Dog dance. Dog dance. Dog dance. Bark. Bark. Good. Good. Anyway, Bark. this episode is all about a little boy's search Bark. for his father Bark. and a videotape that might Bark. embarrass the heck out Bark. of him. That's true. Can I have you... my medication now? Uh, beep like a Jeep. No. Yeah, beep like yeah, a Jeep. Come on. Beep like a Jeep. Come on. Beep. That's it. That's beep. it. Good boy. Beep. So now sit back, relax, beep. and enjoy. Matt's beep. mom is a dirty slut. Beep. Cartman's mom. Beep. Oh, right, right, right. Beep. Beep. Dog dance, dog dance, doing the dog dance. Dog dance, dog dance. If you want your medicine, do the dog dance. Dog dance, dog dance. 
hello, back already? Well, as you can see, that episode is what we in the business refer to as a cliffhanger. To find out who Cartman's father was, we told viewers to tune in four weeks later. Well, four weeks later just happened to be April Fool's Day, and so we thought it would be fun to not air the cliffhanger payoff, but instead air something completely irrelevant and stupid, a full half-hour Terrence and Phillip episode. And the viewers responded splendidly. We even saved some of their comments on our office answering machine. I'm gonna come down there and cut off your testicles, and I'm never watching South Park again! You think you're funny not telling us who Cartman's father is? I hope you both die! I can't go on not knowing who Cartman's father is. I just can't. I can't go Now, can I have my medication? Dude, do the dog dance some more. Dog dance? Bow wow. Yeah, beep, oh, like, a, beep like a jeep. Beep, beep. beep do beep, puffer beep, fish. Beep, puffer, 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 puffer. Puffer. I'll swim. Yeah, puffer yeah, fish, yeah, yeah. You want your medicine? You want your medicine? Here, go yeah. get it. Go get it. <laughs> oh, no. You guys are jerks. Hello. What a grump. Jeez, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Well, after the Terrence and Philip episode, which honestly really is Matt and I's favorite episode, we finally aired the episode you're about to see. It's called Cartman's Mom is Still a Dirty Slut. Demon's Mom! Demon's Mom! Demon's Mom! Demon's Mom! Demon's Mom! Demon's Mom! Just live long, just come for you. Just another another, you are done. You don't know me. I don't know you. You don't know nothing. Live it a life, live it a life, live it a life, live it a life. Oh, hi everybody. You just caught Matt and I doing what we love to do most: entertaining senior citizens at a retirement home. Say hi to the South Park fans, gang. Say hi to the South Park fans. I said. Hi. What you're about to see is our favorite episode of South Park. It's called Chicken Lover, and it's about a man who likes to have sex with chickens. <laughs> That's right, Matt. You know, sex with chickens dates back to the late 1800s. Excuse me. What? Can we leave? No, you can't leave. We're entertaining you. You're talking to the camera. Hey, just keep your damn pants on. This is our other job, all right? I have other things to do, too. Sit down, or else it's Ninja Star in the forehead for you. Anyway, this episode also deals with the wonders of reading. That's right. Reading used to be a fun form of entertainment, but now we have TV, so who needs it? I have to Kick leave. Back. Kick back, I relax. Must, I must leave. Ninja Star! Sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of South Park, Chicken Lover. Can't leave without the bills to live I live the right Let's raise the roof! Woo woo! Let's raise the roof! Woo woo woo! Raise the roof! Woo woo! Yeah boy! Yeah boy! Say oh! oh. Say oh oh. oh! oh! Say oh oh oh! Yeah! Yeah! Woo. Oh, you're back already! Wasn't that episode a hoot and a holler? This next episode is called Ike's Wee Wee, and it's all about the courage of one man in facing his bitter addiction and coming to terms with life before he loses everything he loves. And Ike's Wee Wee. It, right. I but, have to go to the bathroom. What did I say? I said, calm down or I'm going to be forced to use Ninja Star. Anyway, this episode also deals with the very important subject matter of circumcision. That's when they take a knife and cut a slit right down the middle of your penis, slicing it into two halves. And then they take the two halves and tie them in a little bow. No, they it, don't. Huh? Dude, that's not what they do. Is that what they did to you? Well, yeah, that, that's what they do to everybody, isn't it? No. <laughs> Dude, now I know why that Sally chick calls you the pretzel. <laughs> Shut up! Well, anyway, this episode is certainly I gonna... I have to go. God damn it, will you just give us two minutes? I can't wait two minutes. That's it! Need your star! <laughs> Well, anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy Ike's Wee Wee. Raise the roof! Woo woo! Raise the roof, say woo woo woo! Darkness arose! Satan, he comes! Hell is waiting for you! Live girl, you know my mind, you know my head, you know my crowd! While I'm not sitting in, in her hell Live it up, live it up, live it on her hell Oh, hi 
everybody. You just caught Matt and I doing what we love to do most, entertaining senior citizens at a retirement home. Say hi to the South Park fans, gang. Say hi to the South Park fans, I said! We're glad you're watching this episode of South Park because it's our favorite episode. That's right. It's called Conjoined Fetus Lady, and it's all about the kids' exciting dodgeball tournament in China. Trey and I got the idea for this episode when we visited Beijing, China together. That's right. We saw the Great Wall, the Forbidden City, and even Tiananmen Square, where Chinese students were killed by soldiers. Here we are reenacting the Tiananmen Square Massacre. After we got out of jail for reenacting the Tiananmen Square Massacre, we went back home and thought, wow. China is really stupid. Let's make fun of it. So we did. And this show also has that old woman who has a twin that died during childbirth attached to her head joke in it. <laughs> Isn't that funny, gang? Isn't that funny, I said! Answer him, you f***ing pieces of shit. God damn it, we come and f***ing perform for you and you sit there like a bunch of f***ing corpses. I hate you! So sit back, relax, and enjoy Conjoined Fetus Lady. Oh, can't wait to touch your body. Oh, girl, make sweet love to you all night long. Yeah, your butt is so fine. Want to use it like a pillow all the time. Oh, well, that episode was a hoot and a holler, wasn't it? That is a great episode, but this next episode is our favorite episode. It's called The Mexican Staring Frog of Southern Sri Lanka. That's right, and it's all about this army of futuristic vehicles which can drop out of planes and then run in silent mode. And they actually use the silent mode to sneak up behind their enemy. They don't even know they're there. And the leader who wears this big silver suit, he's almost late, but then he uses a flying mode to get in the back of dude, his plane. Dude, that's not this episode. It's not? No, dude, that's that movie Megaforce. We didn't do that? No, dude, that came out when we were like 12 years old. Oh, dude, we should have done that. That was a sweet movie. Well, yeah, but this is the episode where it has, you know, where it has Jesus and he gets his own talk show and they're, they're after that Mexican staring frog and stuff. But we should have done Megaforce. That was a sweet movie. We should have done that. Well, en enjoy the Mexican staring frog of Southern Sri Lanka. Say hey -o. Say whoa! Everybody, I'm Matt Stone. And I'm Trey Parker. And this here is Macon. Say hi, old fella. <laughs> We're back to show you the versatility and nutrition of one of nature's perfect foods. Bacon! Yeah! That's right. Today we're going to make French bacon sandwiches. How does that sound? Let's start by cooking the bacon. Butter. Bacon. Salt. Ooh, doesn't that smell good, Macon? <laughs> Well, while we're waiting for our bacon to cook, let's watch our favorite episode of South Park. It's called Flashbacks. It's all about the kids getting stuck on the school bus and their driver, Miss Crabtree, falling in love. Flashback episodes are what you do when you're near the end of a season and you're fresh out of new ideas. <laughs> hey, you ready for some bacon, Macon? Macon loves bacon. Come on, guy. You want it? You want it? You want it? Yeah, that's a buddy. I need more bacon. Need more bacon. Yeah. So sit back, relax, and enjoy flashbacks. And when we return, French bacon sandwiches. Mm. Wow, what a great episode. And look, Trey, our bacon is cooked just right. Not too soggy, not too crisp. Well, I've got the bread and French dressing all prepared. So we remove the bacon. So. Then we cover sparingly with French dressing. Put on the other slice of bread and garnish. Doesn't that look great? Mmm. Mmm. Hey, let's get some of the bacon. Mm -hmm. Macon likes his with extra bacon. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Yeah. Wow. Macon's really taken to the bacon, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> well, now it's time to watch our favorite episode of South Park. It's called Summer Sucks. That's right. It's all about that one week in the year when summer actually comes to South Park and all the snow melts. This episode has a special guest appearance by Jonathan Katz of Dr. Katz Professional Therapist. Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy Summer Sucks. Yay! Hello, everyone. I'm Matt Stone. And I'm Trey Parker. And we're Cooking Bacon. 
And here to help us is our old pal, Macon. Say hi, Macon. Well, today's dish is called Northern Wyoming Bacon Loaf. Sounds good, huh? To make it, you will need three pounds of cooked bacon, two eggs, one cup of cheese soup, and another pound of cooked bacon. We've already started cooking the bacon. Ooh, smell that bacon. Mm, bacon's going crazy. All right, hold on, hold on. Macon loves bacon. Come guy. You want it? You want it? You want it? Yeah, that's a buddy. Yeah. And more bacon. Yeah. Now, once the bacon is cooked, we're ready for the food processor. That's right. We're going to put all the ingredients in the food processor. Get this grease off here. Mm -hmm. Get the eggs. More bacon. More bacon. And mix. Whoa, bacon. Want some more bacon? <laughs> While we're waiting for that, let's watch our favorite episode of South Park. It's called Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls. That's right. You see, Matt and I have been several times to the Sundance Film Festival in Utah, and we think it totally sucks ass. So we decided to have Robert Redford bring his little festival to South Park. Apparently Mr. Redford doesn't like us too much because of this episode. Maybe that's because we have him drowning in shit. Well, who cares? He's old. Now, I'm going to put this dish in the oven at 450 degrees. You all sit back, relax, and enjoy Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls. And when we return, Northern Wyoming Bacon Loaf. What a great episode. Yep, and we're back just in time to check up on our Northern Wyoming Bacon Loaf. Say, that looks baconlicious. <laughs> now all we have to do is garnish. Hey, Macon's going crazy. Hold on, buddy, this one's for you. Okay. Here's a nice, fresh bacon loaf just for making. Whoa, hold on there, buddy. Not too fast now. Okay, all right, hey. Well, all that bacon grease can't go to waste. So what I do is I pour it into ice pot makers, like this. That's right, you see, bacon grease congeals. So if you pour it in and you wait long enough, bacon pops. Who'd like to try one? You, come on up. Come over here, you. Do you like bacon? Yeah. Well, give that a try. How is it? It's bacon-licious. Well, now it's time to watch our favorite episode of South Park. It's called Chicken Pox. You see, chicken pox affects you worse the older you get. So when I was young, my mom would make me sleep over at friends' houses when they had chicken pox in hopes that I would get the dreaded disease while I was still a child. Well, in this episode, the boys also learn a valuable lesson when they hire a prostitute with cold sores to give their parents herpes. <laughs> so grab a bacon pop, sit back, and enjoy chicken pox. Hello everyone, I'm Trey Parker. And I'm Matt Stone, and we're doing what we do best. Bacon, bacon with bacon! That's right. And here to help us is our old buddy, Macon. <laughs> Nobody likes bacon, bacon more than Macon. That's true. If someone's bacon, bacon, Macon's heart starts breaking if he's forsaken. Well, today we're going to make a bacon dish that you kids can all make at home. Western Iowa bacon casserole. Oh. First off, let's cook the bacon. Butter. Bacon. Salt. Mmm, that smells good. You like that, Macon? <laughs> you better give Macon his treat. Oh, right. Now, what we've done for Macon is we've taken some bacon and we've wrapped it around some pork sausages. This is one of Macon's favorite treats. All right, buddy, here you go, here you go. Yeah. Come on, come on. Once the bacon is done, we chop it up and then get a casserole dish where we add our other ingredients. That's right. Frozen hash browns on the bottom, bacon in the middle, some processed cheese item, more bacon, more bacon. And then we're going to top it all off with bacon. Ah. Now we're going to bake this for 30 minutes at 450 degrees. And while we're waiting, let's watch our favorite episode of South Park. It's all about the boys' haunting trip to the planetarium and Cartman's quest to be a star. That's right. You know, most people don't know it, but this episode is actually a parody of an old Star Trek episode called Dagger of the Mind. <laughs> and so that's why we decided to call this episode Roger Ebert Should Eat Less Fatty Foods. <laughs> Enjoy the show, and we'll be back with Western Idaho Bacon Casserole. Wow, what a great episode. And what great timing. Our Western Idaho Bacon Casserole is ready. Wow, that looks bacon-licious. Now all we have to do is dish it out and garnish with a side of bacon. Oh, Macon feels left out. He needs some bacon. All right. Who loves bacon? Who loves bacon? 
Who loves bacon? Who loves bacon? Who loves bacon? Who loves bacon? Now, we can't let all this bacon grease go to waste. So this time, we're going to pour it into a mold, and that makes a fabulous dessert. Well, now it's time for our favorite episode of South Park. It's called Clubhouses. This is about that innocent time in every kid's life where they play truth or dare for the first time. The first time I played truth or dare was with my Uncle Steve. Well, this episode is also about the nasty business of divorce. Divorce is a terrible thing. Both Matt's parents and my parents are still married. And that's the main reason we turned out to be such nice guys. Have some more bacon, pig. So now we're going to enjoy some Western Idaho bacon casserole and you all enjoy clubhouses. You know, what is so sick and wrong about two beings sharing the most intimate of moments? That's what I want to know.